The dagger concept is a longer developing play that attacks the middle of the field. Small adjustments can be made within the concept to attack multiple coverages, and it's a great play against both one and two safety looks. It includes two primary routes. The inside receiver is running a vertical route, and the outside receiver is running a deep dig or square in route at 16 to 18 yards. That front side combination is usually paired with a shallow drag on the back side of the play. That drag is run at about two to three yards flat across the field. The drag and dig combination creates a high low read. The vertical route is designed as a clear out with the intention of pulling as many deep players with it as possible. As a result, the vertical route can change based on the coverage of the defense. Against cover one or cover three, the vertical route can stay on their seam line and occupy the center field safety along with any seam defenders. Against any two high looks, like cover two or cover four, the vertical route needs to bend inside on an influence post to pull the play side safety. In a best case scenario, that bend inside can also influence the far safety as well as the near one. The dagger works to attack the underneath defenders. The goal is to create a high low read between the drag and the dig over the top of it. If that drag pulls linebackers down, there's a window to the dig behind. If linebackers get depth, the drag has space to run underneath. With the vertical defenders occupied, that can leave a huge opening for a yards after catch opportunity. This is an extra clean coverage read here because the Raiders are blitzing. Note how the seam from the number two receiver pulls both his man in coverage and occupies the deep defender. With the linebackers blitzing, that leaves nobody to defend the dig route. The receiver has inside leverage on his corner and it's a wide open throw. Next here with the Panthers, there's still a single safety but Robbie Anderson reads that the safety is overshifted to the two receiver side. That means that he needs to bend inside of the safety so that he pulls him away from the dig route and threatens the weakness of the defense in this alignment, which is the middle of the field. The linebacker is occupied by the release from the running backs into the flats, and there's a nice window for the dig behind it. For the quarterback, the read is pretty simple. They wanna confirm that the deep safety has been occupied, and then they wanna read the linebacker on the high low between the dig and the drag. When linebackers sink underneath the deep dig, the shallow drag underneath is a good outlet. That drag is also useful for dumping the ball off since dagger is a longer developing play. It's rare, but when the safety or deep defender doesn't carry the vertical route, there's an opportunity for a big play there. When you hit the dig enough, safeties may come down on it. That creates your opportunity to hit them over the top. That's why as a quarterback, you always need to confirm that the deep safety has been occupied by the vertical before throwing. The dagger concept is used mainly at the college and NFL levels, but offers an opportunity for offenses to get chunk yardage against any coverage. It gives a clear read for the quarterback and uses a high-low spacing concept to exploit linebackers in coverage. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to drop a comment, especially if you have any questions about dagger and the concept itself. Happy to answer and get back to you guys. Otherwise, give me some suggestions on the, the NFL film breakdowns if you have any ideas there. And if not, I'll see you guys on the next breakdown.